Hi guys, Joseph the World here, and today, yet again, we are talking about another disgusting nonce. The disgusting man you see on your screen right now is Daniel Eldritch, a 21 or a dead 21 year old that tried to meet up with what he thought to be a liar. Luckily, it wasn't a 13 year old girl, it was a predator hunting group known as Geordie Chasers, who we've covered in the last few videos. And I have to give my compliments to them again because this thing was quite professional. And quickly, just before we continue, I just want to let you guys know obviously, in the description will be a link if you do want to go check out the known sting, but honestly, there's not really much to talk about. He was obviously there to be a 13 year old, blah blah blah, and he brought a can of Coke and a dairy milk chocolate bar with him to try to convince her to go with him back to his home. And obviously the conversation he had with the minor was disgusting as always. I can't really go into a lot of detail, but I think you know what type of conversation it obviously held in the conversation. Sorry. Uh, so obviously there were some bits that were explicit. And I'm uncertain if pictures were sent, but usually that's the case. In the first five minutes of him getting confronted by the Predator Hunting Group, he tries to deny it. But when he's presented with, obviously, the transcript or the evidence they've printed off of their conversation, he obviously just, at that point, straight up admits it and calls himself daft. Like this. Can I just show you something as well? Elf, Elf, see that what she's holding there? That's called evidence. So basically what's in there is our full statement, CD, of all the chats that you've been speaking. So it's pointless lying. It's better to be truthful. All right? So again, I'll ask you, why have you done this today? I think you're a little bit more than daft. You don't need to do it, guys. That, that's the first bit of, of bother that you look through this whole thing. The only time he actually shows, like, any real emotion is when he knows this is going to affect his life, as demonstrated by the next clip. That you look through this whole thing. Do you want to sit down? Are you feeling a little bit? You can sit down if you want. I'm not, I'm not an animal. Just, no, just get the new drop and that's that one. It is gone? For what? I think one of the most annoying things about this guy and... A lot of nonsense in general and the things that i've covered is that they care more about the effect it will have on them their lives whatever than what it would have had the effect if these were real children that they were talking to and tempted to meet up with because these children would have been scarred for life and now when confronted with the fact that you know even though he tried to lie about that it wasn't him he was obviously there to meet a minor, and when confronted with the evidence, and you know, he just straight up admits it. He says, and I quote, "Oh, I just got a new job. My life's over now because he's obviously probably going to lose his job, and obviously, you know, be labelled as a predator for the rest of his life, and says that his life's pretty much over." But you know what? Good. I do not care, you do not deserve a semblance of a normal life when you try to do this shit. This man really is selfish, and I think that's a fitting name for this guy, the selfish nonce. Anyway, at the end of this thing, he's obviously arrested. Again, there's not really much to talk about. It's pretty much your standard nonce, at least in terms of, you know, the disgusting conversation and stuff. There was nothing really in particular to point out, other than the fact that, you know, he tried to meet up and they were going to go to her, whoever's, whoever's house and do something. Then walk down, round at the police station. Um, his life's just ended, he's, he's, he knows it. He absolutely knows it. Just got a new job, threw that away for what? Five minutes of fun with a child, what an absolute disgrace. By the way, a quick little bit of information I just found out while editing this video, he travelled over 20 miles to try to meet up with a minor. That's a disgusting detail as well. Anyway, what happened to Daniel Eldridge? What happened to the selfish nonce? Well, the evidence was obviously given to the police and the police obviously arrested him and he obviously, when he appeared in court, 
Daniel pleaded guilty to attempt to engage in sexual communication with a child and arranging or facilitating the commission of a child under the Sexual Offences Act 2003. He was handed a 36-week jail sentence, which was suspended for 24 months, and given a sexual harm prevention order for seven years, which also bans, which bans him from contacting children online or using social media in the first place. And, in my opinion, this sentence was far too lenient, 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 sorry, was just not enough. And that covers the story of Daniel Eldridge, the 21-year-old selfish predator that cared about more about how it would affect his life than him potentially destroying a child's life. Uh, that's all the information I've left to share. If there is other information, I'm sorry I missed out. Let me know if I did, but I'm sure I didn't. I went pretty in depth. There was plenty of articles talking about it. Anyway, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Sorry I didn't upload for a few days. I'll be honest, work kind of just messed up my body and I was just aching all over, so I just couldn't be, you know, asked to do everything. My hand got messed up, so I couldn't really type or edit, really. Anyway, me Joseph the World, make sure to like and subscribe. I know my hair's a mess, but yeah. Peace. Share the video.